Today we're going to start out a brand new corporation in EVE Online and today's focus is going to be on picking the right location for where you want to start. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to EVE Online. This is a game that I've been playing a lot in the past and I want to go and try and give the game another go. And so what I've decided to do is to go in and fire up my industrial characters that I already had and uh, create a new corporation called uh, Down to Earth Industries. And today we're going to focus on picking the right location for a corporation. I'm trying to do this as a more general video, depending on if or any type of corporation. Um, but this is, this, if this turns into a video series, which it might, then I'll also try to use it as a kind of documenting my progress as I relearn the game, because again, I've been away from this game for several years, so there's a lot for me to relearn. But let's start by having a look at uh, what I'm planning to do. And what I want to do is I think I want to go and start out by setting up some planetary interactions, some PI to harvest resources from the planet surfaces and then bring them up to space so I can use them in a production line somewhere or maybe just sell them uh, on the market. Later on, I want to begin to set up some station trading in order to get my resources maybe a little bit cheaper, the ones that I can't produce myself. And in the spare time, I want to go uh, primarily ice mining and secondary is going to be uh, standard and roid mining. Um, but all of this, of course, ties into the first step that you have to do when you're picking a location for your corporation. And I think the first thing you need to do is you need to make yourself a list of the facilities and the resources that you are going to need in the area. So in my case, for instance, I'm going to use uh, focus heavily on PI and ice mining. So I want a very specific, some very specific type of planet. Specifically, I'm looking for plasma planets and storm planets. Um, and I want those planets at the customs office, so where we export the, the resources to, to have a tax rate no higher than 12%. Um, I think that feels like it's pretty average in Empire, at least for what I've been scouting out so far. So I'm going to aim for something around uh, a total tax of around 12% for, for the exported goods. Um, so of course I will need the specific type of planets with a uh, payable tax, but I will also need ice mining in the area. So I'll need some uh, some ice fields and preferably if I can get um, several around me, that would be good because again, I believe ice fields, as I, as I could understand from reading the wiki, now, now despawn where they are completely mined and then they have a four hour cooldown and then they will respawn again. So I don't want to end up logging on and then that four hour cooldown was on in one of the ice fields. So by having hopefully multiple within a acceptable reach, um, I would always be able to find at least one that is currently active. Secondly, I need a station that has at least a 50% refinery and a uh, factory so that I can actually produce what it is I want to produce. I'm not really sure if there's any difference to the different factories or not, or if it only depends on the blueprint you're building from. Um, something I'll have to read up on. Again, this is a learning process for me as well. So this is my list of, uh, of the things that I want to do. So the first thing I did was that I went over to the dot lane maps. Uh, I think most EVE players should be familiar with these. Um, but I went over here just to have a uh, to have a look because I think first I did, I looked at the list and I found the resource that I thought would be the most difficult to find, which I believe was going to be the asteroid fields. So over here, I found an area where you can see these systems here listed with blue rings around them. They all have, uh, sorry, um, have uh, ice fields. It's going to be the most difficult to find. They all have ice fields in them. And we can see the security level in this area is generally around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 out here toward the edges. That's okay. Ideally, I would have wanted to have at least one system in 0.5 with a decent number of belts because that's going to be a little bit better in terms of the rock mining. But I can live with this. There's plenty of systems in this area and there's lots of gates between them, so it's easy to move around. Um, and we're going to have a look at what type of planets because, again, we're going to need this the right type of uh, planets as we talked about. And we're going to need some plasma planets. And we can definitely see here we have plasma planets here, here, and here. So, uh, so that's decent. We have three in the area. Secondly, how about storm planets was the second one I'm going to need. Plenty of storm planets around, so that's not going to be an issue at all. So that's already um, that's already some of my, 
um, upon requirements checked off. Now, of course, we would have to go to these and check the, uh, the tax rate. But uh, before we do that, we could have a look at the station because we need to make sure that the right station is actually available in the system, which is that we need a station with a refinery and a factory. Now, in this case, we only have the 50% refinery, so this system will not do. So we're just going to go through the systems and see if we can find one that actually fulfills our uh, criteria. Okay, so after checking over the systems in the area, it seems like the only station is in the system that you can see is highlighted here with a black ring. Um, that actually has two stations that both has a refinery and a repair facility. Um, so this could potentially be a decent system. Only problem is that there's quite far to the plasma planets. I mean, I have four jumps out here. I have three jumps here. It's a little bit too far for me. But luckily, uh, we are close here to a, um, to a region boundary. And if we go into the neighboring region, uh, we can actually see that the system right next door also has one plasma planet. So that's great. That means that so far we um, we should have all our uh, our prerequisites uh, filled, uh, filled. That we have the planets that we need. We have the ice fields within acceptable range. And we have the facilities we need. The only thing we need to check is if um, if this system actually has a payable tax rate. Good. So we are in the system. So um, let's open this up. This is actually in Amar apparently. Amar control. So let's find that plasma planet. There it is. It's planet four. So we're going to find the customs office here in our overview. Where is planet four? That's the one there. Let's show info. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, that's no good. Look at that. We have a 22% tax rate. That's way too high. That's way above my limit. I don't want to pay much more than 12%. So unfortunately, this means that this is not going to be where we're going to move in. It's simply too much to pay and otherwise either we're going to have to travel quite far to get the planet or we're going to um, to pay too much of a tax. So we once again go back into the dot lane maps and I noticed that here in this area down here we also have two ice fields. Let's see how many are in those systems as well. It's going to be pretty much the same procedure here. Oh look at that. Plenty. We have one here, one here. And we also have one down here, and we are close to the border to Singulation. If we move in there, we can see that in here with Shujim Bay, we have a further two ice fields. So we actually have, and this one will be a little far out, kind of out of the way. But here we have at least four ice fields within an acceptable range. And another good thing is, if we go back and look at the security levels, we have a 0.5 system here, dead end system, with nine belts in them, which is pretty good. And that means that we have to get a look. And again, we're going to look at the planets, see how that looks. Planets. Okay, that's pretty good as well. We have a plasma here. We have plasma here and down here as well. And I noticed that there are actually a legend out here. You could actually, I didn't have to open up all the different um, stations. You could just look at the facilities out here, what was actually available. But anyway. Um, so far, it looks, uh, looks very, very promising. Um, I think storm planets, have a look how that looks. How does that look with plasma planets in here? Okay, so no plasma planets in this specific area that we were looking at here, but at least we have some down here. It's good. And what about the storm planets? Should be plenty of those around. There's one there, one there. Okay, so we have these two systems. Looks pretty good. Um, and what about stations? Let's see if we can find a good station. So in the system of Vauret, we actually have a station that fulfills our uh, uh, criteria. We have three plasma planets within range. We have plenty of storm planets within range. We have ice fields here. Let's go to belts. We have ice fields here, here. And if we want to go three jumps, we have down here. And if we go another three jumps, we can either go into Singulation and take the one here and here. I mean, we have within three jumps, we have five different ice fields. And we have a clan here which is a 0.5 system with nine belts, which should be pre pretty good for mining. If you don't want to move that far, I believe that uh, Valorant itself is actually not, is only a 0.6, so that's good. And it should also have plenty of belts as well, 12 belts. So that's a pretty good mining system as well. Um, so I definitely think Valorant could be a interesting choice, but again, it all depends if we can actually find the, um, um, the right tax rate. So let's head out and let's scout out this, this system.
there we go. We are now in the system. So let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, at the planets here. We have the plasma planet here, which is level number three. So let's find planet three, customs office. And there's only a 12% tax. So that is perfect. So as we arrive here at the station, I think that I'm going to call this my new home. It seems like it fits all the criteria that we have. We can just maybe for good measures open up and see. We can actually see there is an active ice field in here. We open the probe scanner. There, so there's an active ice belt. So it seems like the system is not always strip mined completely. Um, so I think that uh, that that's gonna be my new home system. Um, again, this is something completely different. I know than what I usually do. But uh, I really hope that you liked the video. If you did and you want to see more and you want to follow the progression of down to earth industries in EVE Online, let me know by giving the video a like or leave a comment down below and remember to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.